But to know, see, what you heard about our people used to go to war with outsiders. And one thing we used to do, once we kill the outsiders, we scout them. See, the, the scout tradition, let me explain this because a lot of people don't know. And they're trying to hide the story behind scalping. Scalping was only to identify foreign people. I repeat, what you saw here, this is the natural hairstyle of all of us. Our true identity was hair. We carry locks. Okay, and some froze, but the fro will grow once you achieve privity, once you become a chief, or once you become in a, in a time as a man, you become an adult where you're in position to become a chief, and, and the chief this, you're going to have to grow your hair. Your hair is spiritual to us, so we carry locks. That's how we carry our identity, okay? So our identity was our hair. Make no mistakes. This is why we developed the tradition of scalping. We scalp the enemy because the enemy does not have the same hair as we do. It calls scalp. Let me let me show you another picture of a scalp that was about to be taking place. And people have no idea. Okay, so we scalp the enemy because they are not us. Now, I love this picture, which I'm going to show it again. See, this picture, this is a scalp. They was about to scalp the enemy. Because they're not us. The only way to prove is why they grab them by the hair. This is, this is very sacred here. We grab them by the hair and we scalp them because they're not us. The only way to prove who they were is through hairstyle. Our hair was our identity. And this is why we still identify ourselves with hair. Okay? Locks. It's a must. Okay? This is where we, because our hair not only is coral, it's our antenna. It's how we connect with nature. This is how we, we communicate with the universe, with our ancestors that's no longer there. So, again, this is a scalp that's about to be taking place here. Because these foreign people, they do not have the same hairstyle as we do. So, once we scalp them, this is a proof to bring it to other tribes. Because we don't just scalp them for just, we, we, we remove their scalp and leave it out there. No, no. We're going to carry the scalp. And bring it to other native tribes to let them know, look, we got an intruder on our soil. And also, many of our soldiers, we used to hunt these people and scalp them and put them for trophy to see how many of their asses we get rid of. So this is where the scalping starts. This is a military style, and this is also a form of identify the enemy. And look how they look, folks. Look at the difference between the person who grabbed them and the people that they identify today as natives. So you understand why the racism, you understand why they denying who we are, why they all come together to never tell the truth, because they know they were the invaders. They know they're not the original. So they don't want to talk or, or have any conversation to entertain this very truth that they all get together to keep pushing the fake narrative about who we truly are.